In this video, I'm going to show you how to shade a fraction of a shape. Here is a shape. I'm going to show you the same fraction shaded, one quarter, in both diagrams, just so that I can give you two different ways to do it. So I want you to imagine that you are asked to shade one quarter of this shape here. How do you go about doing that? Well, one way that people um, sometimes like to have a go at is they like to sort of divide the shape into four equal pieces. After all, one quarter means divide by four and then multiply by one. And then just shade one of those quarters. So I've divided it into four equal pieces and I'm going to shade one of those equal pieces. So that's one way in which you can shade a quarter of the shape. Here's a second way that you can shade a quarter of the shape. You can shade one square out of every four. If you count in fours and shade one of them each time. So one, two, three, four. Shade that one. One, two, three, four. 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 So notice what I was doing. Counting four, and for every four that I counted, I shaded one. I shaded one out of every four squares. Let's have a look at how you can work out three quarters. Another way that you can do three quarters is similar to the first way, but I can divide this shape up differently. When you're doing quarters, you need to split your shape into four equal bits. Now, originally, I put a cross through the middle, but you don't have to do that. You could divide your shape into four rows, like that, and I want to shade three quarters, shade three of those rows. So there's one, two, three. I've shaded three quarters of the shape. I split the shape into quarters, one, two, three, four pieces, all of equal size, and I shaded three of them. The other option is once more to try to shade three squares out of every four. So if I count through, I'm going to put a dot in three squares and then leave the fourth one blank. So I'm counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, blank. One, two, three blank. And what I was doing there, I was shading three squares out of every four. Okay, and now I can just go ahead and shade those. And this will be three quarters of the shape. Three squares shaded out of every four that I counted. You have to do something like that very carefully if you're going to use that method. Let's have a look at some different ones, some quarters. Here we're asked to shade one third of the shape. Now thirds people find tricky, uh, but looking at this shape I can see that I can split this into three equal pieces by putting two lines straight down and then just shade one of them. Like that. Okay, let's just zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. So I've shaded one third of the shape by splitting it into three equal pieces and shading one of those pieces. Or, once again, I can use my counting method so I can count in threes and shade one square out of every three that I count. So I shade one square and then leave two blank. And then I shade another square and leave two blanks. So that's one out of three. And then I shade, if I come down to here, one square and leave two blank. Shade one square and leave two blank. So I'm shading one square out of a three. And I'm visualizing a little three in here, three squares, and only one of them is shaded. 
and I repeatedly do that. One out of three. And I've shaded a third of the shape. Notice how the two thirds here, this one third, looks different to this one third. Doesn't matter. They can look different. The key thing is the number of squares is the same. I shaded eight squares here and I've shaded eight squares there. Let's try two thirds. Now again, you can split this shape into three pieces and this time we want to shade two of those pieces. So there's one and there's the second one. That's two thirds shaded. But once again, I can use my counting method. This time I want to shade two squares out of every three. So I'm going to shade two and leave one blank. Shade two, leave one blank. Shade two and leave another blank. Keep going like that and you will have shaded two out of every three squares. So in summary, there are two things that you can do. You can, first of all, try and split the shape into equal pieces and then shade however many of them that you need. The second thing is you can count up and in this case we shaded two squares for every three counted. Okay, so you've got two different methods there. You can choose whichever one you would like to use, um, but the counting one does seem a little bit more foolproof.